Ladies and gentlemen, today we are introducing to you and to the world these seven men who have been selected to begin training for orbital space flight. These men, the nation's Project Mercury astronauts, are here after a long and perhaps unprecedented series of evaluations which told our medical consultants and scientists of their superb adaptability to their coming flight. Which of these men will be first to orbit the Earth, I cannot tell you. He won't know himself until the day of the flight. The astronaut training program will last probably two years. During this time, our urgent goal is to subject these gentlemen to every stress, each unusual environment they will experience in that flight. Before the first flight, we will have developed our Mercury spaceship to the point where it will be as reliable as man can devise. We expect it to be as reliable as any experimental aircraft. It's my pleasure to introduce to you, and I consider it a very real honor, gentlemen, from your right, Malcolm S. Carpenter, Leroy, Leroy G. Cooper, John H. Blenn, Virgil I. Grissom, Walter M. Shira, Alan B. Shepard, Donald K. Slayton. These ladies and gentlemen are the nation's Mercury astronauts. Yep.